Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Food Fishing Channel. I can actually yell all I want because today there's like nobody around here. As you guys can see, right? I've been filming recently in a lot of sports places, right? Did the little monster, ball, uh, monster bass video in like a basketball course. Right now we are like in a soccer field. The master caster probably, you know, lost his last game over here. No, I'm just messing. I'm just busting. <laughs> uh, Master Casters actually plays good soccer. Anyways, today is June 27th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 102 of this year. And, you know, before I start this video, I would like to say to all of you, thank you so much for the overwhelmingly positive and cheerful comments that you guys left in the previous video here on the YouTube channel, right? My mother and my father, they don't really read English, but my mother does have this app that she can kind of screenshot the comments, right? And translate to Chinese using the apps. And let me tell you, they read all the comments that you guys wrote and they were shocked, you know? They were, they got very emotional, right? You guys may not realize that, but it was something very important for them, especially my father who has been working extremely hard to regain you know mobility on the left side of his body right well that being said today they kind of gave me a little mission they are just resting at home I got they, they've been exercising a lot for the past few days and they are getting old right so my mother came to me and she said son we want to eat some fish so I guess the main objective of this YouTube video is just for me good old EPF to go out there and catch them some fish. Will we be able to do this in this video? Hmm, at this time of the year in particular, right? Summertime? I don't know. Stay tuned and we shall find out. Usually I like to take my time, do some multi-species fishing, explore, but today I am on a mission. I mean, it is currently 11.40 a.m. and you know, they're expecting some food at home for dinner. So, EPF ain't playing this video, boy. I got my EP series here, Inline Spinner. We're going to try to slay some species of fish that we can actually cook. Let's cast all the way to the other side. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, for sure. Oh, I lost it twice, dude. What? Uh, what? I lost it twice. It hit the spinner two times. And I lost it. Right in the shade, too. Can't believe this. Man, that was going to be the first fish of the day, hands down. I mean, I don't know what it was. Ooh, fish on. Oh, that's not the same fish. Nah, the first bite was like much, much more aggressive. This bite right here is like more mild, little <laughs> red breast sunfish. I bet there's a little trout or a little smally right over there. Well, one of the beauties of today's fishing session is that the water is actually so clear that you guys can see this fish swim away very, very nicely. I mean, look at that, huh? Look how clear it is out here today. Ding, dude! Very nice. I've been casting around this area for a little while really thinking, you know, maybe a trout is around here, maybe a smallie. But all that I caught was that little red breast sunfish. I had an additional two bites while reeling really in, which I don't think were trout or smallies, just red breast. So I think it is about time for me to move upstream and hit a few other holes that may produce fish for me. Uh, well, you want to take uh, this way because yeah, of the, the sun. Creek. You don't want to see it. Yeah. No, I mean, it's just the sun angle. 
good? Thank you, man. Send me via Instagram and I will post it on the stories, all right? Oh, awesome. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Oh, so I DM it to you or? Yeah, just DM it to me. I'll post it by the end of the day. Sorry? Oh, of course, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Flat same angle because, you know, the sun is going to be, the brightness is going to be better. So this angle right here. Yeah, that's great. Good. Yeah, just send me via via Instagram. Yeah. And good. if you want me to tag you, just put you know I will have your nickname there. So DM it to you on Instagram. All right. Hell yeah, dude. I'll post it by the end of the day. There's a spot right here. Looks like a prime spot for a little jig. So I'm actually I actually took out my EP series inline spinner, and I'm putting a little trout magnet. The fishing today has been horrible so far. A little shaded area got a little hole you just never know right there may be a trout lying around here dude my motto is to never overlook any spots any spots that may be productive uh may have trout okay this is not a trout but this hole definitely has some fish in it we got another red breast some fish dude this creek is loaded with this fat some fish i can't i can't even believe it here man man come come over here all right come over here because i don't want you to spook my fish over there there's one there's one dude is this the trout that i was looking for this this is my dinner oh it's a smallie Oh no, it's a smolly, bro. Why are you not a trout? I mean, don't take me wrong. I'm happy to see a smolly. It's like a, an all right size smolly for this creek too. Beautiful. But boy, I wish this was a trout. Okay, okay. All right. That's, that's beautiful, bro. Okay. All right. You did your acrobatics. We all enjoyed it. Okay. We find you to be a beautiful fisher on the YouTube channel. The Micropterus Dolo <laughs> Dolomiel. But I can't take you for dinner for my old folks. You know what I'm saying, fish? Ay, yeah, yeah. I really liked that trout magnet. Okay, here, here, fella. Here, fella! Go back where you belong. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on. Come on, you're really telling me there's no, not a single trout in this hole? There's one, there's one. Is that a trout? What is that? Dang, it's a rock bass, dude. I can never escape the multi-species fishing, even when I want to. Check that out, huh? the Umbloplites hupestris. Even though I want to catch some dinner, this guy, <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Oh man, this is great. We are at three species in this video already. I'm supposed to be catching some trout for my old folks to eat and all these different species are just showing up one after another. Oh, there's one. There's one, dude. Come on, dude, this, this is a trout. Come on, this gotta be a trout, dude, right? This gotta be a trout. What is this? Is it really a trout? Come on, man. Come on, bro. What is it? What is it? Come on, man. Is it dinner? Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. It's a fall fish. What? It's the Semotilus corporalis. Dude, this trout does not want to show up, man. What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know what to say, folks. Man, this is like one juicy hole that I'm fishing in the creek right here. I am almost positive that there is at least one trout, you know, at least one trout in this hole. And yet I'm catching everything but the trout. That's nuts. There's another one here. Dude, what are these, man? Are, is it another fall fish? It may be another fall fish. 
Yep, it is another fall fish. Sun. Everything is in this hole. All these species are in this hole, excluding our trout. This is fascinating, actually. <laughs> you know, EPF, EPF is a multi-species angler. So I am not going to complain that much. You know, folks, I have fished this particular creek many, many times before, and yet I never knew about this particular hole. And this, let me tell you, this is a juicy hole. You know, of all the holes that I have tried here before, I mean, I would definitely try this one every time, right? But I caught so many species and no trout, so I think it is really time for me to get out of here and uh, keep moving upstream to see if we can find some trout today. Guys, literally had to hike a mountain. Gotta walk my way back up. I'm only the quarter of the way there. You're, uh, make you're the guy on YouTube, extreme Hey, how's it going, my good, man? Good, how are you? I was yeah, just good. watching your video the other day. Oh yeah, thank you, man, I appreciate it. You what, are you, all... uh, what are you fish around here for? I'm trying for trout today. Okay, yeah. Haven't I'm caught trying. anything yet. Um, I was kind of like over there, like on the other side there of the bridge okay. a while ago, but I mean, I didn't catch anything. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, I mean, I've caught everything else, but not the trout. Yeah. Caught a bunch of mollies too, but yeah, no trout. Yeah, I saw a lot of those yesterday. Yeah. We were here with my dog, so. Uh huh. That's cool. Well, nice meeting you, bro. Yeah, nice Thanks for the support. Too. Have a nice day. You too. All right. It is do or die. This is one of the juiciest spots around this creek. The overall area is pretty darn deep. I came here maybe a month ago when I gave a few casts, there were still some trout left. I caught a beautiful tiger trout over here, never really filmed for the YouTube channel. So I'm going to run a few spinners and um, maybe a few small jigs, see if anything shows up. There we go. There we go. Is it a trout? It's a smallie. It is. <laughs> it gave such a nice jump, bro. Thought it was going to be a trout. I was all quiet and everything. Not trying to spook anything. Little Micropterus dolomiel came up, huh? Second one of the day. Still no trout yet. Still troutless. Troutless. Oh, dang, dude. That one slipped out of my hand like a... Oh, well, anyways, troutless. Man, just the small ones. Been looking for the trout. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, man. You have a nice day. Thank you. It is actually quite a grind today. I believe that I have hit more than 10 holes. And just like I told the gentleman over there, man, I've caught everything but the trout. I haven't seen a single trout. I got two holes left to hit. So hopefully something is going to happen. All right. Whew. Took me about. Okay, okay. Ah. Took me about 15 minutes to hike here. Whew. Maybe switch to a jig and see if there's any trout around this area. Got one. Trout. Got a trout. Finally. Nice trout too. Holy moly, dude. If I can land this one, this is a nice dinner. Nice dinner right here. I'm going in the water to get this guy. Finally, whole day I've been looking, you know, for a trout to eat. It's hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Gotta take it easy. I don't know what type of trout this is, if it is a brookie or a tiger. Nice, dude. Real nice. Holy moly. You see that? Dude, that's nice. Whole day. Perseverance is key, homies. Perseverance is key. All right, all right. Now easy, now easy, now boy. Easy, now easy. I got to tire it out a little bit. And I'm just going to scoop it up right over here. Hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Easy, now easy. It's shaking. It's shaking. It wants to go. It's a nice tiger. 
it's a big tiger dude tired out a little bit more dude just come to the side will ya dude it's a nice tiger oh my goodness nice tiger nice tiger trout that's nice dinner right here you see that guys boy this will give me two nice fillets to give to my parents so you can say that mission accomplished for the trout at least got something got something what we got here i thought it was a trout it's a rock bass <laughs> Amblopletes rupestris. There's at least one more trout in this little creek because I saw one swimming around. I'm trying to catch it right now. I got a few more minutes of fishing before I have to head back. Oh, got something. A little bit different. Is it a trout? Oh no, it's a smallie. It's a little smallie. I gotta tell you guys though, you know, I didn't expect it to work this good today, but the Aeroteco Anisoptera, as always, is working extremely good. This, this creek is like very clear water. Today, everywhere is very clear water. So the fish are kind of finicky. Even the EP series was not getting striked like that strong, right? But you just drop the Anisoptera in front of this fish, man, and they are own it oh there's one ah it's a rock bass all these bites gets me get me so excited because every bite i'm just thinking man that may just be another trout right so my hopes are kind of <laughs> more up right now you could say This is it. You see that? Hell yeah, dude. This is the night crawlers that we need. This right here. This. This. And this. You know, man, let me tell you, when the fish don't bite on no lure, you really need to kind of get out for game and just put some night crawlers on. I just dug up some night crawlers. Dude, I ain't playing no games, man. I need to catch dinner for my mom and my dad. Got one. I think it's a trout. I think it's a trout. I'm not so sure. I just wish the live bait, dude. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I need to catch my dinner. It's a brown, isn't it? It's a brown trout, the Salmo Truta. Beautiful. It's been a good, good while since I've caught a brown too. Dude, this brown saw this worm. I would like to emphasize that all of these fish are stocked. None of them are native or wild to this creek. So I'm going to take them for dinner anyways. I just want to emphasize that. All right, folks? Look at that. Huh? We got a beautiful Salmo Truta coming up here. Oh, yeah. Dude, on the jig and worm, top of the mouth, little Salmo Truta is stocked.